Hey guys, welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to determine a function that we're going to call f of n that describes the number of times the statement x equals x plus 1 is executed in terms of n. Then we're going to determine a big O notation for our function f of n. So here in the blue rectangle, I have some pseudocode for our function. And here we're going to assume that we have some arbitrary input for the value n, where n, of course, is defined somewhere else in the program. All right, next we create two variables, i and x. There are two integer variables, and we set x equal to 0. Then we have our for loop, and our for loop runs from i equals n times n, or n squared, and it's going to run while i is less than or equal to n times n times n, or n cubed. Then i is going to increment by 1 each time by our statement i plus plus. Then within the for loop, we have our statement x equals x plus 1. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a brand new sheet here. Now what we know is that summations can be represented, I'm sorry, for loops can be represented as summations. So let's write our for loop as a summation. Okay, so our for loop runs from i equals n squared, and it's going to run while i is less than or equal to n times n times n or n cubed and then within there we have our statement x equals x plus 1 so we're going to put a 1 here now what does this equal well we don't really know so I'm going to put a question mark here we don't know yet but we're going to use a formula here that I'm going to write down right here that will help us determine what this equals in terms of n. So this formula says that if we have a summation from i equals m to n of 1, then this is equal to n plus 1 minus m. OK, so I'm going to get my eraser here and erase that question mark. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the values um, into our formula here. So we're going to plug in n cubed for n, and we're going to plug in n squared for m. So let me just uh, make that very obvious here. So here we have n cubed, and this will be plugged in for n into our formula. And then here we have n squared, and this will be plugged into m for our formula. So, now we get n cubed plus 1 minus n squared. All right, so this is how many times our function is being executed in terms of n. So, of course, uh, this is our function f of n. Okay? So now, what does our function f of n, which is equal to n cubed plus 1 minus n squared, um, what's its big O notation? Well, f of n belongs to big O of n cubed. Now, how do I know this? Well, I know this because... Uh, when we use big O notation, we drop constants and lower order terms. This is because when the problem size gets sufficiently large, those terms don't matter. However, this also means that two algorithms can have the same big O time complexity, even though one is always faster than the other. So I hope that helps explain that. And I have a video on proving big O as well that you guys can look at um, if you want to see some of the math behind it. So thank you guys. Um, please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Likes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share the video if you found it helpful. And as always, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.